I look a hot mess, y'all. But this is the realest you gonna get. Like, this is the realest it's going to get. I feel like, how many YouTubers y'all know pop up here with no makeup on just talk to y'all? I'm sure there's some. But as of right now, we're gonna act like there's none. Because it's only me. Just saying. But no, um, I look a hot mess. My face needs to be moisturized. I don't have lotion on. But I just want to come on here and talk to you guys just for a couple minutes. Give me some time. Don't want to talk. Je vais seulement parler un peu. I'm going to talk a little bit. Um, no, lo I'm not going to speak a lot or talk a lot. Je pas parler beaucoup. But I just want to just address something. Um, before I start my natural hair series part two, I know I've been gone for a while. This is one month of a progress. Um, if you watch my big chop, you notice that uh, on the video, my big chop looked like this, but I actually trimmed it down a little bit lower. And if you've been on my Instagram, you know how short my hair was before this growth right here. So we did some growth. We did some growth. But I can't really talk about part two. F it. This is going to be part two. Natural Air Series part two. Because I feel like we need to have this talk. I need chapstick. We ain't got chapstick. You might as well just be real, okay? We're going to talk to you with chap lips. But on a serious note, in order for you to wear your natural hair, whether it's short hair, long kinky hair, 4A, 4B, 4C, 3C, 3A, W, Z, PP, whatever your hair type is, you have to have confidence. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand how important it is to have confidence when it comes to natural hair. I'm tired of people telling me, I love your natural haircut. I wish I could do just like you. You were so brave. Oh my gosh, I wish I could cut my hair like this. Girl, you just rocking it. But I don't know how I'm gonna look. Y'all be watching them reality TV show. Anyway, but um, in order for you to wear your natural hair, you have to be confident. I'm not sure how many times I'm gonna say this. Me coming on here like this, it takes a lot of confidence because putting yourself out on social media just like this, people are people are are used to seeing you with makeup on. They're not used to seeing you outside of camera or off of camera, off set. <laughs> They're not used to seeing you off camera looking a hot mess. So for me, I just want to be real and show you, tell you guys, in order for us to continue this natural hair series. You have to be confident with your own hair. If you are trying to get your hair cut, or if you're trying to go bald, you're trying to start back at one. If you're trying to get back to stage one by chopping your hair off, regrowth, new journey, you have to have confidence. Cutting your hair isn't, isn't the easiest thing to do because you get a lot of feedback from family members, friends, people who are not so you know used to seeing you being yourself they want you to picture you to be this way and they always wobble 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 in your ears about how you should look oh your hair is too nappy you should wear this do this to your hair why are you doing this <sighs> but if you have the confident confidence to wear your hair the way you want to wear it not your hair journey will be a breeze so i'm tired of hearing y'all complimenting me and then you hit me with the i wish or this is the number one comment that i get you're so brave you can be brave too if you have the confidence to do what you want to do with your hair natural hair is not easy because people look at you as the nappy head girl the girl with not the good hair what is that did you fix your hair? Is your hair comb? It's not hard. It's not easy to rock natural hair without people criticism. If you have the level of confidence with natural hair while wearing your natural hair, it's going to be a breeze, okay? I know some people don't understand what other people say. Hair is just hair. Hair to me is just hair. And for some people, that's that's one way of saying what are you talking about. I need to start talking too much. My face is dry. And it's like, no, hair is not just hair. I grew up with my hair. My hair defines me. My hair defines me too. My channel is based off of my hair. 
but at some point you gotta do what you gotta do yeah i'm preaching to y'all and i'm also preaching to myself to wear natural hair you have to be confident stop telling me what ifs all that other boo and just do it if you're not gonna do it there's other you could do it and still rock your wigs that's why they're making all these wigs that's why we're starting to do wig tutorials. That's why I got wig tutorials. I'm showing you guys reviews on nice wig companies that you can hit up that can give you affordable wigs, you know? You could do that. Rock your natural hair. I cut my natural hair for the, during the winter and I was, and I'm still not able to wear it out right now because it's just too cold. <laughs> Two years ago, I cut it during the summer. This year, I cut it during the winter. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Natural hair is all about confidence. If you don't have the confidence, you're not going to be able to do the big chop. I just want to come on here and say that. And now I'm going to put lotion on my face, put some chapsticks on, upload this video, and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I said something that might encourage you or get you out of that shell. Fait ce tu veux faire. Ce que tu veux faire. Is that problem ya bango te? It's not their problem, okay? Fait ce que toi tu veux faire. C'est tu cheveux. Tu qui n'a yo moko. Do what you got to do. It's your hair. You know why you're doing it. Always have a purpose on why you're doing it. And you doing it will boost somebody else's confidence to want to do what you're doing. Just like I'm doing it and I'm out there reaching out to those who want to be a naturalista. But thank you guys for watching. I will be sure to come back on here. Part 3. This is part 2. I can't show you guys what I'm doing to my hair without speaking the truth out of it. But yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, my face is dry, and I'll see you guys in my next video.